Ovulation with polycystic ovarian syndrome. How does polycystic ovarian syndrome affect ovulation? Ovulation with PCOS. Today we are talking about the effects of polycystic ovarian syndrome on ovulation. If you have been trying to go into ovulation but things have not been working out well, we are going to address this point today. So, Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. I welcome you, my friend, for today's lesson. Remember to hit the subscribe button so that you get new videos. We talk about women health. We talk about the ovulation calendar, the ovulation calculator, and pregnancy tips. So, without further ado, we shall go to polycystic ovarian syndrome before we head to how it affects ovulation. So, polycystic simply means a collection of many small growths or many cysts or many fluid filled masses poly means many so ovarian comes from the word ovary where your eggs are produced they are normally produced and then they grow in round structures known as follicles and then syndrome is a collection of uh, symptoms so polycystic Ovarian syndrome is basically a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age. It is a condition which is so common in women of reproductive age, but normally there are some tests which can be done to discover whether you have polycystic ovarian syndrome or not. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel, and we are talking about the effects of polycystic ovarian syndrome on ovulation. So women with polycystic ovarian syndrome may have infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods or they could also have an excess of the male hormone known as testosterone or androgen levels. So basically whenever a woman tries to go into her periods or if a woman has irregular menstrual cycles, normally this is due to hormonal imbalances. When these hormones are not balancing, then the end result is going to be that there is going to be evidence of polycystic ovarian syndrome but before we go ahead normally when you go to your doctor they will request for a pelvic ultrasound scan and an ultrasound scan is a test it's an investigation where images are got images of your pelvic area of the reproductive area are identified and then these images normally give pictures of what is happening so when you take an example of this ultrasound picture basically it is the same it's an ovary but in different uh in different planes so the whole of this is the ovary but these black areas they are what we call the cysts so normally many women tend to have one or two cysts and when it is only one or two or three they are called corpus luteal cysts or corpus luteum cysts they are the remains of what was carrying the egg that when the egg bursts on the 14th day or when the egg re is released on the 14th day what remains behind that empty shell is what we call the corpus luteal cyst so normally it is always one or two but in polycystic ovarian syndrome as you can see in this diagram there are many of them for example when we are to count here you realize that there is one here two three four five six seven eight 9, 10. Normally when they are 8 and beyond, then we say that is polycystic ovarian syndrome. When we go to the next ovary, you also see that it is having many of the cysts. There are many and that's why we call them polycystic ovarian syndrome. So when you do an ultrasound scan and an image comes out which is like just like this, then normally your doctor will tell you on the report that you have what you call polycystic ovarian syndrome. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is brought about by hormonal imbalances and as we said these cysts are many when you get one ovary when you have small cysts small growths these all these black areas these are cysts what brings about these small cysts to be on the ovary is that during ovulation ideally in a normal woman with a regular cycle the hormones fully co-stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone are produced in the brain, specifically in the anterior pituitary gland. In women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, 
there is a dysfunction in the production of the two hormones we've just talked about, the FSH and the LOH, or the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone are not being produced. And since they are not being produced, or they are being produced but in sufficient in insufficient quantities, then the ovary, which is supposed to carry on the carry out the process of maturation of the of the eggs normally the does not the maturation of the eggs or the growth of the eggs does not grow so what happens is that the eggs which were supposed to become uh, fertilized and to become babies they tend to actually stay redundant on the ovary they become fluid filled and then they become what we call cysts so when we have many of these cysts or when we have many of these swellings on the ovary we call this polycystic ovarian syndrome my humble advice or my humble request is that for all of you out there women if you are a woman and you have irregular periods you have issues with getting pregnant and you also show some signs of hormonal imbalances for example your skin changes there's lots of uh, probably acne and then also if at all you are showing uh, beards forming on your uh, uh, beards forming and then you are also having hair growing on your chest that uh, all these could be signs of hormonal imbalances. My humble request is please, please go and have some tests. Go and see your doctor and they will, the, the doctor will order for some tests including the pelvic ultrasound scan. Your doctor will also request, to, uh, will also request a sample of your blood be checked in the lab for uh, the androgens or the male hormones plus other tests which may be done for example the home the the, the, the the test on the testosterone levels so in today's video we are talking about the effects of polycystic ovarian syndrome on ovulation and we have been talking about hormones the hormones we've been talking about are many but the most important hormones are fsh and lh Fully co-stimulating hormone, also abbreviated as FSH, and luteinizing hormone, abbreviated as LH, play a very big role in how your periods go on. If at all these two hormones are not balancing, then we are not going to get enough estrogen and progesterone. Because we know that when FSH or when the fully co-stimulating hormone acts on the ovary, estrogen is produced and estrogen is known to prepare your uterine wall it prepares your womb for the baby who is going to grow in if estrogen is not being produced in sufficient quantities then it means there are high chances of chemical pregnancies or repeated miscarriages if you are a woman and you have had a history of repeated miscarriages please please it's high time you did a check on your hormones you can also consult with me on my whatsapp plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six my consultation fee is a small charge you you can always uh, consult me i'll give you all the time and then advise you on what you need to do on what steps you need to do remember to also check the description for details i put out and the, the description is having lots of information please remember to check the description we are talking about the effect of polycystic ovarian syndrome on ovulation and without uh, further ado we are proceeding and we are saying that it is very very important if you have tried to get pregnant it's very important to have checkups if you are below 35 years it is recommended that at least you try for 12 year 12 months uh, trying to get pregnant if it doesn't work out then it's high time you see a doctor and get professional advice if you are beyond 35 years then it's advisable you try for only only six months if within six months you've not yet got pregnant then there could be question marks so on this channel we talk about the ovulation calendar we talk about the ovulation calculator and we also talk about pregnancy tips every day we've talked about the ovulation calendar in our previous videos if you missed the lesson please you can check our videos our video library there's lots of information about the ovulation calendar you can get pregnant the most important thing is you need to get expert advice you also need to ask for uh, advice whenever you feel that something is not right you can talk to me on my whatsapp it is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six consult with me and please remember to hit the subscribe button for new videos i put out every day in today's video i hope you've learned something about 
polycystic ovarian syndrome and how it affects ovulation. As we summarize, we've said that since polycystic ovarian syndrome is, also, is, is being brought about by hormones not balancing, then there's going to be insufficient or there's not going to be, uh, ovulation is not going to take place because the hormones that were supposed to bring about the whole process of ovulation are being affected by polycystic ovarian syndrome. And the biggest, the biggest effect of polycystic ovarian syndrome on ovulation is that when you go ahead and get the ovulation predictor kits and check for ovulation, what you are going to see is that there's going to be incorrect results. The ovulation predictor kits will give you wrong results. The main reason is that polycystic ovarian syndrome causes a high surge or it causes the luteinizing hormone to be high but persistently. In a woman who is not having polycystic ovarian syndrome, what happens is that the luteinizing hormone tends to increase on a few days before you see, uh, before you go into your ovulation period or before you ovulate. But in polycystic ovarian syndrome, luteinizing hormone rises persistently. It does not calm down. Whereas in ovulation, uh, in a woman who is not having polycystic ovarian syndrome, the luteinizing hormone rises on day 13, day 14, and then afterwards, after ovulation has taken place, then it goes down. It actually goes back to normal. And then even the other symptoms like the cervical mucus goes back to normal, the body temperature goes back to normal. So the take home point or the point we are taking from today's video is that polycystic ovarian syndrome gives incorrect results on the ovulation predictor kits. I have a book out. Remember to request for it. Go through the description. There's a way you, are, you can order for the book. And also, may God bless and protect us all. Remember to subscribe for new videos we put out every day. On this channel, we talk about the ovulation calendar, the ovulation uh, calculator, and then we also talk about the pregnancy tips. Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. Thank you for staying for today's lesson and I hope you've learned something about the ovulation or the effect of polycystic ovarian syndrome on ovulation. See you in my next video. May God bless and protect us all. Bye bye and have a great, great evening. Bye bye. Hello, welcome to our channel. I'm Gerard Massa, the health educator. On this channel, we talk about pregnancy related questions. We answer all your pregnancy related questions. We also do talk about conditions including fertility, infertility, endometriosis, endometritis, and also we do discuss issues regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome. Let me know if you have any questions and welcome for today's lesson. You are most welcome and stay with me today as we talk about today's topic. Welcome. The ovulation calendar, get pregnant faster, the complete guide. Ovulation calendar, get pregnant faster, the complete guide. This is my new ebook. It talks about ovulation. It talks about all the rules you need to follow, everything you need to follow if you are looking at getting pregnant. Get your ebook right now. Order for it uh, on my WhatsApp. You can send me a message. It is plus two five six. Seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six. You could also send me a WhatsApp on my other number. It is plus two five six seven eight seven six six eight nine six two. Order by email. Also, you can send me an email on ovulation ebook at gmail dot com. That is ovulation ebook at gmail dot com. Get your ebook right now if you are looking at getting pregnant. You will read it. There are lots of steps to follow. They are easy to understand. Get this ebook right now. It goes for only twenty US dollars. Order for your ebook at only twenty US dollars. Send me a message and I will show you how you can purchase your ebook. When you get this ebook, you'll be able to determine ovulation. You will understand the common problems with ovulation, the common drugs for ovulation, and then also you'll be able to improve male fertility because you may be thinking that you have issues when there are issues with your partner, when he ha maybe he has issues with low sperm count, poor sperm quality. So I talk about all this in this ebook, and then also you'll be able to determine. Uh, you'll also be 
be able to have sex and then of course uh, to determine gender selection you'll be able to time sex for gender selection and then also you'll be able to have all your questions answered about ovulation get this ebook right now because the biggest problem most women seem to have with getting pregnant is determining when the ovulation when they are ovulating and then they are most fertile time to be pregnant in this ebook i've got all this covered just order for your ebook today and you will be able to know you'll be you'll, you'll be able to begin on this journey of getting pregnant very easily knowing that you have a guide you have you have a book you are reading and it's giving you tried and tested inf information which has worked for many women it has worked for many couples get your ebook right now to order send me a message on plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six that is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six you could also send me a whatsapp on my number it's also plus two five six seven eight seven six six eight nine six two send me a message showing your interest and i will show you how to order for your ebook how you can purchase it it can be it will be delivered straight to your email once you submit all the details and then also you could send me an email on ovulation ebook at gmail.com get your ebook right now ovulation calendar get pregnant faster the complete guide it goes for only 20 us dollars gerard massa the health educator are my names and please connect with me and you'll be able to get this ebook have yourself a fantastic and healthy day bye bye